In this video, we'll do an analysis of the results framework for the outcomes of the Guyana Education Sector Plan for the years 2014 to 2018. We use a structured method of methodical approach to analyze the Guyana Education Sector Plan. The six H's, head, heart, hands, hardware, home, and hassle-free. With click and learn, all six elements are involved. Now let's look at the stakeholder analysis of the education sector plan. Now what is a stakeholder analysis? So first, what is a stakeholder? And who are the stakeholders that are involved in the education sector plan? Before we answer those questions, let's look at the framework we're going to use. You see this matrix here? The horizontal line is the horizontal axis, x-axis. And it measures the or indicates the level of interest in the topic or the subject. From low, moving to the right, increasing in interest. Low interest in the subject or area high interest on the vertical axis it indicates the level or level of power low power to influence the outcome or high power so if a person is placed low down on the power pole he has low power to influence the outcome if he's high up on the vertical axis he has more power to influence the outcome if he has low interest it be around here if he has high interest and so on for those of you maybe asking well who are the main stakeholders beneficiaries a stakeholder analysis allows you to perform a structured analysis of the persons involved in any undertaking Stakeholder literally means a person who has a stake, an interest in something, who holds an interest in something. Let's say if you're going to throw a party for your friends, well, your friends who are involved have an interest in holding the party, have a stake in the party or the outcome. Likewise, if you are, are a parent and you have children going to school, you hold an interest, you hold a stake in the outcome of anything related to education. So you'd be a part, you'd be a stakeholder, you hold a stake. In earlier times, in early history, when persons moved to different areas of the country, they would plant a stake into the ground, indicating to any viewer that they hold the stake they have that interest, they control that area, or they own that area, stakeholder analysis. So we are going to do, we first ask who are the main stakeholders and the beneficiaries? Who are the beneficiaries for the Ghana sector plan? What are the main interests of the teachers? Teachers are stakeholders. What are their expectations? What is their level of involvement? What is the impact on them? These are key questions that must be answered if you want to do a proper stakeholder analysis for the program to be successful. So in this area here, you have to keep these people satisfied. Persons who fall in this area, you have to keep them satisfied. Manage closely. Monitor minimum efforts. Keep informed. Now, this is my analysis. You may not agree with it, or you may agree with it. Politicians keep them satisfied. They want to look good so they get more votes. Minimum effort, subgroups in the hinterland and so on. You have to monitor their involvement. Students, primary, secondary school students. And in this section, teachers keep them informed. Here you can see the politicians have the most power, high up on the power scale. And they have interest, subgroups and so on. Some persons would put the politicians over here. It depends and so on. Okay. Now, 
this structured approach gives you a better understanding of what is involved, who are involved. Manage closely, Deputy Chief Education Officer, the Minister, high power, level of power, you see, high, Permanent Secretary, very high, CEO of Education. These are the people who make decisions. You may not agree with this arrangement, but you can. These are different units acting assistant, chief education officer, primary, secondary, and so on. Program unit GTU, Ghana Teachers Union, PTA, Parent Teachers Association. Now, you may want to put the PTA further up, and I would agree with you. This is just an indication, a rough display of the stakeholders involved in the Ghana Education Sector Plan. Later on, we do further analysis of use of technology.